uh, I knew that someone was coming through the wall every once in a while, and uh, and I but I thought well I, I thought it was a guy here that I liked, uh, that but I didn't have anything to do with him, so I thought maybe he was just bashful, you know, and uh, well, you know I was very much. <laughs> Can come I, through the can wall. I ask you a he question? couldn't come through the door. Can I ask you a question? I, I forgot this. This. <laughs> How long before they take me away? <laughs> He's hanging. He, oh my God. But anyway, does, he, he no, said. Does that, he show up with clothes on or clothes off? I don't know, cause you know, our, we have a. Come on, good, either the guy's got clothes on or he doesn't. I haven't have looked off. at. Well, he said he sleeps there beside me, as he we used to do on the bed. Well, some people sleep with their clothes on. Uh, what did he do? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I think he wore a t-shirt to bed and shorts. So, he, well, I know, you know, but he's he talks and uh, he's told me uh, that. It was okay for me to think he was someone else until I got used to the fact that the dead can be very active in your life. If they see a reason, and he sees a reason being of my problems with bisexuals, and he, and it had took him quite a while too to make up his mind to go public, at least as far as me, uh, talking about the problem he and I had, which I kind of had to keep a little secret because he was keeping it a secret. And he, But he said he's learned a lot from Doc. Oh, <laughs> he's, he said that. He said, uh, Why do he doesn't you, mind you being in my life. And now oh, that he's well, found that's out. that's really nice. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. What is that? Oh, that is a, hey, 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 makes my Sunday morning. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord and pass the, uh, pass the, uh, whatever, just pass the gas, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, because he said that he found out that you were no threat, that you were sexually inactive because of your alcohol for some reason. He's insane too, you know. He has deliberately cut himself off from women, sex. Not necessarily. Just because you are the one cut off, you assume that the rest of the female population in the world is cut off. Well, I see no evidence of any female in your Well, life. you better not see any evidence either. Yeah, right. Well, I know, I happen to know this. I've investigating, investigated you, and I do not <laughs> think, you, I don't know. Are you he, some he sort has of got, detective agency? He had, yeah, I, you, I am, because, uh, you know, for a while I thought you and I would have a full, complete relationship, sex and the whole thing, even though, you know, once in a while, I mean, when you're older, you don't want to have it every five minutes, you know, but <coughs> I found out he wasn't even going to have it for five you know? minutes. He's got this thing, life is over. If you had sex that for five minutes, that, that would be That part of life trick. is over. Look at Pierre over there. He's sitting there shaking his head. He knows me, and he knows how I suffer from this. Because he knows my... He's nine years younger than me, and he knows me, which you don't know. And I've told you and told you, don't know my body. He knows it, so... I've seen it and you years. don't want and you, yeah and you you're not interested. You turn up your nose and so I didn't turn up my nose. Well, you have. I've told you and told you. Well, why don't you give up that alcohol a little bit and maybe you'll feel a flicker of something down there. No, no. For three and a half years, you have refused to give cut your alcohol back and sober up. Pierre sobered up. I knew him as a, as a drunk. I knew him as a drunk, and I knew him as a sober guy. You imagine in your wildest nightmares, which I probably you're having, a drunk ghost. Oh, uh, no, well, he says, please get a drunk uh, ghost out of here. What do you do with a he's drunk? He's not drunk now. Listen, he what. knows. He's given you every chance in the world to have this relationship with him. He's, he's told me, he said, he's hopeless. He's not going to, after three and a half years, you just as well. So he come back into my life, revealed that uh, uh, he would be here to understand me and uh, for him being here sexually as much as a spirit can be. And uh, 
that would have to do because my chances of meeting an, a guy in here are nil. Yesterday, the five policemen were there knocking on my neighbor's door, who happens to be many years younger than I am. Uh, this complex is slowly filling up with younger guys uh, who are a lot of mental patients, so they're violent. So, Did you know that when I went to leave the, park, the building yesterday, five policemen were trying to... I know it now. And also, he had committed an act of violence as far as I was concerned, because he hates my door to slam. I accidentally let it slam, and he came out and he slammed his door so hard the, the whole tail shook. So I thought, oh my goodness, he's violent today. I better well, watch just, out. Why don't you just say I really apologize that? Oh, you know are what? you kidding? Are you, I wasn't are gonna you eat. sexually violent? Because if you are, <laughs> oh I, yeah, come oh, on sure, over to my sure. apartment. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna invite a young nut. Well, suppose, violent. He's, suppose he's built like the lumberjack. Oh, right? I don't care. I do oh, not oh. care. I know my place. I know my age. I'll take the, the ghost. Well. He's got my speed. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but since you have, I'm, not, I'm just going to I mean, I was that. willing to take you, but you weren't having it, so. Well. See, this is the strangest thing. A, a spirit Ooh. who is sober and who is... He can actually be more alive than someone who's sitting beside you, alive, but he's dead. Now remember. You're half dead. <laughs> Which half? That half. Because of your... <laughs> I'm going to get knows. that thing. He One knows. of these days, they're going to the, go up to the hospital, <laughs> and they're going to say, what happened to your finger? <laughs> And I'm going to say, oh, would you please, right here. Would you please explain again why you're drinking yourself to death? So, so devoted to this task. Because I have terminal cancer. Terminal cancer? Well, it hasn't, oh, yeah, right. I haven't had a liver in 12 years. <laughs> oh, here you go. Here you go. And so you have given up, decided there's no sense getting sober now, right? This, well, drink no, it up. I'm thinking about starting smoking cigarettes, <laughs> too. Maybe a nice cigar once in a while. See what? A full of uh, mixture of 69 or whatever the hell it was. I forget. See, now you can see my companion's shallow side. Shallow, that's a good side. Uh, uh, you shallow. can see the shallow side. Shallow. Imagine, I, I have to compete with alcohol. And alcohol always wins. He <laughs> loves alcohol more than he. You I, know told what? Him, I, I told Pierre, I said, Pierre, I, you know, you need to sober up. You're going to die this way. You can't do nothing. So he finally said, yes, I know. Now, he, he would talk in a way that this guy just never talked. I know I need to sober up. Will you help me? And I said, well, yeah, I don't know what I can do, but I, I will help you. Does this guy ever say anything like that? No, he has never changed his mind one speck. He is devoted to killing himself, and there's nothing I can say or do to stop it. This is why Pierre finally came back in my life. He said, you need somebody. Because he can see, he said he can see why I still come down and talk to this guy because he is a live body. He is a live body. And <laughs> he's still alive, but barely. He's what barely makes, alive. I told you I'm just a hologram. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've been dead for 14 years. Yeah, 14 years since he went home was that experiment he dropped out. That experiment didn't quite work out at well, Los Alamos as we thought it would, but you know. I'm still here in a hologram. So holograms, here I, I've holograms been. Holograms can't have sex. <laughs> Let's face it, it's one of the problems with that's when you're a hologram, you can't have sex. So I've met the living dead, and believe you me, you, if the guy is devoted to uh, being one of the living dead, the living but dead, 